I'm Chase. I buy storage units at auctions with my two companions, and I show you what reality TV doesn't. Welcome to Chase Thrifts. Welcome back, thrifters, to Chase Thrifts. I'm your host, Chase. We have another cold January uh, afternoon, and uh, today's task is to uh, fabricate and build some, some shelving. So I was gonna be buying some shelving here uh, this week anyway to um, kind of shore up a lot of stuff I got going on in the warehouse. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of table space and it's all taken up by stuff. And I wanna get some nice shelving along my north wall. I'll show you here in a second. I was gonna buy some, um, some big industrial shelving. It was like a $200 a piece for the Husky Husky shelves, which actually I pretty much like. I, I have one in the back of my office back here. Well, I lost $600 last week on eBay from returns and a bunch of other stuff. So uh, now we're gonna resort to the, the Chase Thrift style, which is gonna be building my own um, shelving, just to do it a cheaper way. That's why, I, that's why I, my name is Chase Thrifts, right? Because we do, do stuff in the thrifting way. Anyways, um, instead of going out and buy a bunch of lumber, we're gonna be looking at some stuff in the warehouse we could use instead for now. And uh, yeah. Okay, so on the corner of my warehouse over here, next to my door, I do keep a lot of um, like raw material, stuff like that. And uh, either boards, poles, uh, angle irons, just anything you can think of. Kind of something like a building material area right there and uh, what I found is that I have a lot I mean a lot of um, iron bed frames all right so um, I've come up with a plan it's going to be involving a lot of bed frames which luckily I have and I actually had some more back at my old garage I used to work out of I, I had left a, a lot behind so we're gonna start a pile right here of old bed frames and see how much we got going on here. Now you can see we have quite the collection of these iron bed frames. I never sell them. They, they're not worth more than 20 bucks sometimes. I keep them just in case, you know, I want to make something. So uh, we have, I don't know, eight or 10 right here. And um, we're going to draw up some schematics of how we're going to use these. They're all basically the same. And there's a couple different varieties in here. But uh, we're gonna get some measurements on here because I don't. I, I want to do as, as least amount of cutting as possible, and uh, and welding it is because we're gonna be welding them into squares. So um, let's do some measurements and then we get over here and see what we can figure out here. Right, so we've been out here for about an hour uh, messing around, and what I came up with was uh, over here. So let me drag this right here. So we have two foot pieces I cut right here. Go like this. I need to um, actually, I need to bolt those in, but I have sections that are two foot wide by about um, 70 or six foot around there. Okay, so it's day two here. Um, yesterday I kind of quit a little early to get home to my family, and I also just completely smashed my finger. I really Kind of hurt, so I got really kind of mad, and that's the point where he's got to stop. And my middle finger too. Look at that, smash it pretty good. But anyways, um, this is, they're gonna be two foot wide by six foot in length. That's because the uh, bed bed frame are already six foot in length, but I had to cut them down to make them two foot wide. Um, and then we're gonna have three tiers. We're gonna have two shelves. We have enough material for two shelves, and in between uh, each. Um, shelf is going to be a two foot gap because it makes it easier because I'm uh, when I cut these down right here I, I, I'm leaving with a two foot piece already so I use these pieces from cutting them down as uh, the side supports for each side um, just to make it easier so we should have enough for two shelving I'm at this scrounge up the last couple pieces for this top shelf right here um, yeah, that's the, that's the general schematics of what, what it's going to look like. Well, uh, we're almost there as far as getting it all done. Uh, can you tell I have a preference in tools, by the way? Milwaukee. This is a nice Milwaukee bandsaw I just bought on eBay for 150 bucks. It cut all this stuff up 
with ease. I love it. Awesome. I also bought this one on eBay not too long ago for like 40 bucks. This little Milwaukee drill. I'm also wearing my Milwaukee hat. Okay, so we have all my, um, well, except one actually, uh, the tiers built. So each tier is two foot uh, tall. So uh, these need to be uh, welded together, uh, which we'll be doing uh, tomorrow. But it's about that right there. It'll come up to about, um, you know, close to five and a half feet. Perfect height for like grabbing things off the shelf. And uh, we'll have two of these. So there's another one right there. And we'll build the next one right there for it. Um, and then we're gonna be welding up these. This is, very, this is barely on here, by the way. So welding them up right here on the corners. And then, um, yeah. Well, here we go. We got them nicely welded up. This is, uh, I think, six or seven bed frames right here. Right there. Right there. And then in the back of Old Blue, we have some nice thick uh, eight foot sheets MDF board that I had ripped down the middle because the whole whole thing was to uh, just use storage and stuff but I, I wanted to look nice and uh, uh, you know, not, not janky so I went ahead and spent the money on some nice MDF board I think I spent $25 a sheet times four so it's a hundred bucks which is still a lot cheaper than $400 which I had to spend on the, um, the Husky shelves, which I had to build anyway. They come unbuilt. Since they cut them in half for me there, and they weren't exactly, a, it's a four foot by eight foot, but they're not exactly like that. I think it's uh, really, it's 49 inches wide. So when they cut them in, I cut, cut it in two foot. Yeah, there's an inch and a half. I have to ream down the side of this thing, which is so, so freaking annoying. I, I hate that. Um, and uh, so I need to go buy a new Milwaukee saw and do that because what other better reason to buy a new tool for yourself than to do a project. <laughs> There's nothing as great as opening a brand new tool to use for a project, I love it. And we went with a Milwaukee corded one because I was being cheap. Um, I don't need an M12 or M18 one, I just need a nice corded one because I'm gonna use it for this, maybe a few other projects, who knows. But all I do know is that uh, it's gonna be sweet. Look at that, it's got a nice case with it too. Uh, there's a store going out of town here, like a, a farm store, and I got this, I think 10% off, which is not a ton, but I think I got this for 100 and, 115 bucks, which is not bad. Not bad for a brand new Milwaukee. That's gonna do the job very well. Look at, oh my gosh. Look at that beauty right there. It's got even got a blade on and everything, and ready to rip and roll. So we gotta rip these down, give my two foot sections, rip them down to um, about 68 inches. Uh, I've been seeing, like these other ones I've been doing, have been, uh, they, they were measured at 70 inches, but since we put the uh, supports in there, it cut off an inch or two on each side. So I'm doing about 68 inches, and uh, I might have to rip it down a little bit on the sides, because the same thing, the supports cut off just a little bit of that room I had. Oh, let's get this bad boy plugged in. I'm so excited. All right, so uh, here they are. I went ahead and painted them red because I wanted them to match the Chase Thrift's red and white theme. Cause why not? A, pan, a can of paint was, uh, I think, three dollars. Why not? So, uh, yeah, they came out pretty good. I like how they look. Uh, they're nice and sturdy. And it's these are 12 foot long, six foot. I'm gonna match them up like this along the wall here in a second, and uh, start piling some stuff on there. It's gonna look great. I'm really excited how they turned out, and. Um, Overall, I just love doing projects like this because it gets my mind off doing the eBay crap, the monotony of it. And we saved a lot of money doing it this way, and we gained a couple of new tools. 